welcome to my kitchen. Boop. Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jess from Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are gonna be talking about my three favorite smoothies that I like to ingest on the regular and why I like to eat them, why I like to make them. Well, not eat them, but why I like to drink them and make them. The first one is this one. It is bright orange. The second one I talked about before in one of my other videos, and maybe I'll link it down below, and it's a breakfast smoothie that I have not every day, but every other day or every third day of the week. I don't know. I like to vary up what I eat on the regular for the most part. However, I do find myself gravitating towards the same things again and again, but I don't like to eat everything, the same thing every day. I have dog hair stuck to my mouth. Anyways, and then my third favorite smoothie is the one that I like to eat or drink. Why do I keep saying eating? But why, the one that I like to drink when I really don't feel well, when my energy is low, my body is physically low, emotionally I might be feeling low and weird and wonky. I'm telling you guys, when I have my third smoothie, it takes me from feeling really dragged, like my body's dragging, to I have all the energy in the world. And I highly recommend drinking that smoothie if you are sick, if you don't feel well, and if you need a whole lot of you know just nourishment like real like serious nourishment it works every single time anytime i've ever had a cold the flu or anything like that my body st stays pretty healthy knock on wood but yeah for the most part if i've ever gotten sick or just haven't really been feeling well i drink that smoothie and i will go from feeling like total crap the first day that one day to the next day just feeling like back to myself but i still don't push my limits the first smoothie that I want to talk about is the one that I am currently drinking, which is kind of technically what is inspiring this video right now because I posted on my Instagram and you guys were like, Jess, what is that? What is it that you're drinking? So I'm like, well, okay, okay, okay. Let me dive into the details. Let me tell you why it is that I'm drinking it. Now, this is what I like to call my life-giving smoothie. And I drink this when I need additional support when I don't want to have a full meal but I need to have nutrients or my body feels kind of weird energetic energy energy wise and why wouldn't I want to eat well me personally and it's just different for everyone but me personally sometimes a full meal will drag me down even if it's a salad or even if it's like a sandwich or something light or a soup, it will drag me down or it'll make my body feel weird. I've always been very sensitive when it comes to food, so a smoothie can really be my saving grace. My body loves it, it vibes with it, it, thrive, it helps it to thrive. So this is one of those days where I just felt like I really wanted to have my life-giving smoothie and that's what this is. What this smoothie consists of is fresh squeezed oranges, number one, two ripe bananas, pineapple, frozen pineapple, and it's best to get the frozen pineapple from a farmer's market or as fresh as you can get it and to cut it. If you have to, freeze those pineapple chunks yourself and then put them in the freezer for a day where you can blend it in, you know, down into a smoothie or eat it as candy when you're watching a movie. <laughs> and Moringa tea. Now, I don't know if you guys have heard about the benefits of Moringa. It is truly so amazing. Outside of the energetic energetic properties of it that you can use while you are working magic, but the magic that it has on the physical body, the mental body, is insane. It is packed with nutrients. It is literally like the miracle plant of the earth so far that we know. And basically what I like to do is I like to take the Moringa leaves that I have and I have them in my apothecary but I take the moringa leaves and I steep them in a tiny amount of fresh spring water that I boil and then while it steeps for like three to four minutes I will take that pour it in the base of the smoothie add the bananas add the fruits add the fresh juice blend it up and it is literally it gives you so much life um, this supports the sacral chakra and the root chakra I'm sure you can tell just by the color just it being so bright orange but outside of that energy aspect of it I feel so much life given to me I feel vibrant I feel it, it's good for your skin it's good for your physical like body with your nutrients it's just such a good yummy delicious smoothie with benefits that go on and on the next smoothie that i like to drink is one that includes 
coconut, bananas, and what else? Oh, vanilla, cardamom, and almond milk. This is the smoothie that I make when I want additional nourishment. This is so good for the root chakra. That's what I feel. It's really good for the root chakra because it's so comforting. It's fulfilling and it just starts your day because I like to have this in the morning. It starts your day just being like like sustenance, man. When I tell you it's like a hug in a, in a glass, it is so good. It is so, so yummy. That's the one smoothie that I will say that I have the most often and I enjoy it the most. And I will have that not every day, but every other day. I am in the future going to add a bit of matcha powder to it and try it in that way because that's kind of been my thing lately is the matcha tea latte situation. I had that earlier today and it was so, so yummy. I found a really good coffee shop in New Orleans that makes a phenomenal matcha tea latte. It's really hard to find a good, a good place that makes a matcha tea latte that's just phenomenal and I found one. So, that's something that I'm thinking about trying is adding a little matcha powder to my coconut smoothie. I'll let you guys know how that goes, but because I'm so obsessed with the matcha tea latte, let me know and I'll be more than happy to share with you my personal recipe that I've been having every day for myself since I started having it maybe like seven days ago. And then this, and then that recipe is actually inspired by the place that I get it from in New Orleans because yes, I asked them for the recipe and yes, they were generous enough to give it to me, including the matcha tea that they use, which is one of the best out there in the internet. And of course I got my hands on it. Of course I did. So that's something that I would like, that I personally like to have every morning outside of the matcha. But once I add the matcha powder in there, I can already tell that I'm gonna have it probably every day or maybe just the matcha tea latte but again if you see a video on how I make that matcha tea latte I'm more than happy to share that with you now the third latte or no not third latte the third smoothie that I am talking about that I want to share with you guys is my total healing smoothie and this is the one that I use when I am not okay when I don't feel well it works every single time what was it that um, that the guy says on anchorman he was like 50% of the time it works 100% of the time or something like that or I don't remember but literally this the stats of me using this the statistics of me using this are batting, batting 100 like I hit it every single time with health and vitality and I do this every day when I or the, every time when I don't feel well there have been days where I'll take medicine or I'll take like a vitamin pill in order to help myself to feel better and I'll do it day one, day two, day three of me having a cold or me having a flu and I'll be in bed all day and not feel well. And then the fourth day I'll have that smoothie and legit I will be back to my normal self the next day. There have been also times where I had a cold or a flu and I had the made that myself that smoothie right away like I lived I learned and I'm like we're not making that same mistake I'm not going to live the, my life feeling this way and not have the smoothie first I'll have that smoothie and the next day it'll literally cut down like my body's resistance just shoots up immediately starts attacking whatever it is that's making me feel sick now what it is that I use for this smoothie is blueberries so many freaking blueberries, dude. If you feel like you're putting too many blueberries in that smoothie, add 600 more. Literally, blueberries are just everything to infinity and beyond. Have I replaced it with a raspberry or a blackberry? Yes, but I can't say that I've noticed a whole difference with that, but I know that blueberries are the key component when it comes to making this smoothie specifically. There's something about the blueberry that has always fought off illness for my body. You, it might vary for you, but I'm just saying what works for me. So I have blueberries, I have the fresh squeezed orange juice, and I have th three ripe bananas. The ripest bananas that is that I can get my hands on, and I like to have bananas in my house regardless. So I always have b bananas on deck, but I just kind of add, throw those things in, blend it up. I know that sounds so simple, but it's it's just life changing. It is so good. I do not put ice or water in my smoothies. I've never co-signed with that. If anything, I feel like that kind of waters things down. 
and I don't like the flavor. I like to keep everything like nutrient rich and nutrient dense and very flavorful. So you'll never catch me adding ice to anything within a smoothie. I just find that so weird. I know that there's people that do it. I'm not one of them. I like to fill it with sustenance. I like to fill it with substance. I will say that I have blended um, and juiced down kale or spinach and added it to the smoothie and it does add life to my, you know, my smoothie and it does add life to me physically it does change the taste obviously how could it not you're adding green material in there but I will say that I knock it out of the ballpark every single time when I make that blueberry smoothie and it, it makes me feel so much better so if you're not feeling well and if you need a lot of that support I feel like that one is that last smoothie that I'm talking about is connected to, in my opinion, it's connected to the crown chakra and the heart chakra. I've always felt that way. And then also the root chakra, but mostly I feel it here. It just nourishes and it gives so much life. Okay? So I know that's a quick video, but I want to share that with you guys because I felt like I should. And in the meantime, I am drinking the first one that was that I mentioned, and it's giving me life per usual. I wasn't feeling 100% when I started, before I started drinking this and I feel myself coming back to life now. In the meantime, don't abuse these smoothies and don't abuse your body. Don't make these smoothies and give yourself all this life and then run yourself down. When I make a smoothie and when you make a smoothie and you're doing it for health and you're doing it to give yourself life and vitality and energy again, sleep, rest. Put your socks on, wrap yourself in a warm robe, put blankets on, put on your favorite movie, your favorite next Netflix, you know, TV series that you could just binge watch. Put your phone away and allow yourself to be taken care of. Allow yourself to be nourished, okay? Don't just drink the smoothie and run yourself down. Like you're just totally reversing the energy of what it is that you're trying to consume, what it is that you're trying to bring and give yourself in that moment. I hope that makes sense. If you guys have any other suggestions or other things that you want to know about what I eat, what I do, what I am currently loving, I'm more than happy to share that with you. Just let me know down in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.